School is stressful. Assignments can pile up and everything can seem overwhelming. You may feel like everything is crashing down and you just wanna give up. Many people, including myself, do not know how to handle these stressful situations. That is why it is important to learn various coping strategies that will help you during these anxious moments. Today, I will teach you three coping mechanisms that will help you relax, refocus, and reignite. When you feel things becoming too much and your anxiety kicks in, it is easy to give up. Instead of giving up completely, just try to relax. Two ways I have found to be most effective to relax constructively is to meditate or move your body. Meditation can be challenging to do on your own because you will likely start to think about your schoolwork or other stressful tasks. That is why I prefer to listen to guided meditations. You can find an abundance of guided meditations on YouTube and you can select the length of meditation you would like to do so you can choose the set amount of time to relax constructively. Moving around is another taken for granted relaxation technique. Even just getting up to walk around your room can help calm your mind and body. Stretching is another exercise you can do in your room if you have limited space to move. The more movement you can do, the better, especially if you can go outside to move. After relaxing, it's time to refocus. This means sitting down at your desk and making a plan. If you are overwhelmed with tasks, simply starting on a random assignment will not be effective and is not productive. The best thing to do is to make a list. Sit down with a piece of paper, a flashcard, or a sticky note and write down everything you need to do. Just try and remember everything and write it down. Once you have everything written down, you will be able to visually see all that you have to do. Sometimes this will make everything feel less overwhelming. If you still feel overwhelmed, rank each thing from most important to least and start at the very top. It will be easier to work your way down the list rather than starting at random. Now that you have all your tasks written down, it is time to reignite your burnt out flame. Starting is half the battle. I like to use two techniques to get myself to start an assignment and make it easier to continue. The first is the two minute timer. Start a task and set a timer to work on it for two minutes. After the two minutes have passed, I find that most people are more motivated to keep working. The next is known as the Pomodoro technique. This is where you work on a task for a certain amount of time and then take a break for a certain amount of time. I prefer to work for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break, but it depends on my motivation level. Sometimes it is easier to work for 10 minutes and break for five minutes. With the stresses of school, work, and extracurricular activities, it is important to let yourself relax, refocus, and reignite. It is important you do not beat yourself up for having a bad day. These strategies are helpful, but may not always work. That is why you are allowed to have bad days and try again tomorrow. As long as you try the best you can, you will succeed. Now, take a deep breath and have a good day.